Welcome into a mock draft special here. We're going to do the all the first round with every single team. We're going to mock, talk it all out here on the Kramer Sandstone Network. I'm usually the person that writes all this stuff down, but now I'm giving it to you video form. So I hope you all like that. Once I click next here, which, by the way, if you do want to, this is not sponsored at all. If you want to make your own mock draft, make it a little simpler for you, go to thedraftnetwork.com. You can do all that there. So let's hit next. Let's, have, let's do one round, of course. Draft speed. There's no draft speed. Manual, let's go. All righty. So, of course, you have your Cincinnati Bengals starting things off in the draft. And that's almost perfect way to do all this. So, of course, you want Joe Burrow. Joe Burrow is the best candidate here for the, the needs for the Bengals. And, of course, Joe Burrow won LSU the national championship. So this is the reason why... Move away from Andy Dalton, and let's go Joe Burrow for Cincinnati Bengals. Now, now this is the thing. You could think that maybe Chase Young may go first before Joe Burrow, but the fact that they actually need that quarterback for Cincinnati, which means Chase Young is arguably the best second player on the draft board. So, Chase Young, you're going to Washington. Now with Detroit Lions. This one's a little bit different here. A cornerback, inside defensive line and edge, and inside outfits of linemen, safety, wide receiver, running back, linebacker, quarterback. You see it as well. That's the thing. I, I think Jeff Okuda might be the best option right here, but I do like Isaiah Simmons for this aspect because he can play anywhere on the field, but Jeff Okuda is going to be drafted to the Lions, not Giants. Make some huge moves, start to trying to stack up that defense for them, but you got to protect Daniel Jones. And the way that things walked, worked out for them in the last year, it wasn't that great. We already know this. So I feel like a person like Jedrick Willis, uh, Willis of Alabama might be the best option here. You know, Tristan Wirfus, Wirfs is one of the people that they're expecting there, but I like Jedrick Willis for them. So Jedrick of Alabama is a giant. Now, Miami Dolphins. Your quarterback is a necessity right here. But there's a good chance they could easily snag a guy like Tom Brady or they could get a guy like Cam Newton here real soon. So I may push that off since they do have two first-round draft picks this year. Three first-round draft picks this year. So in this option, I feel like they should sure up that offensive line. This is a person, a type of option where, okay, let's go with either Mika uh, Becton of Louisville or Tristan Wirfs. So I'm going to go Tristan Wirfs. I like this one a lot better because, one, you already have two quarterbacks on the team, as in Ryan Fitzpatrick and also Josh Rosen. You just need to protect the quarterback at this point in time if they already have two. So Tristan Wirfs, you're there. Now the Chargers. They need a quarterback. And they can easily get Tom Brady here soon. I feel like Tom Brady's narrowing it down. By the time this comes out, posted, Tom Brady's already made his decision. So this is also another candidate that if they even get Tom Brady, you need to have that backup. Maybe Tyrod Taylor's not that guy. Maybe maybe they need to groom somebody. I think Justin Herbert's that guy. I think Justin Herbert, a West Coast kid, can easily adapt to the option of playing for the Chargers so that's why I'm saying Justin Herbert is probably the best candidate for the the Chargers right now. So Justin Herbert, maybe not game time ready, but he will be in the next few years if he's sitting behind a guy like Tom Brady. Now with the Panthers, they're, I don't, do not know what's going on with the Panthers right now. They just signed Teddy Bridgewater. So why don't you give him an option, an option to throw it to, minus some of the guys I already have, but a guy like Jerry Judy, might be the option there, or maybe Henry Ruggs, or what they have graded on here at the at the Draft Network. They have C.D. Lamb at number one of Oklahoma. I think I'm going to go with Ruggs. Ruggs in this situation, quick person that Bridgewater can just throw it down the field. He's there. Let's go Henry Ruggs at number seven. Now, the Cardinals are making a ton of moves, and the fact that you can give... Kyler Murray, another weapon and wide receiver, I would totally do it. They already have Fitzgerald. They already have DeAndre Hopkins, which was ridiculous. So why don't they go another wide receiver route and get a guy like C.D. Lamb, the second best, I would say the second best wide receiver in the draft so far. So C.D. Lamb, we're going to the Cardinals. 
Now it goes to Jacksonville Jaguars. It's crazy to think some of these guys are dropping so far down, such as an Isaiah Simmons at linebacker when they do need they don't need a linebacker at all. So it may be a stretch that maybe, hey, okay, we're gonna draft him, but we're also we need a wide receiver as well. So Jerry Judy, you're you're looking really good at this option. Maybe get it to Gardner Minshew, give him another option to throw it to. But you gotta protect him. It's, this one's the hardest part right here to figure out what the Jacksonville Jaguars need because they need so much. And maybe a guy like Derek Brown is their option on defensive line. you got to sure up that defense. you got to make sure you can stop that run, and Derek Brown's your guy that can do that. So, Derek Brown, you're going to the Jaguars. For the Browns, you need to protect that quarterback whatsoever. So, that, of course, Mika Becton, you are the guy for the Browns. Now, another team that needs to protect that quarterback, as in a guy like Andrew Thomas, this is this is a clear cut and day. Andrew Thomas is going to go there. Andrew Thomas to the Jets on my thing. Now, this is another interesting fact that Raiders did sign two linebackers already, and the fact that they can get a guy like Isaiah Simmons here, I do not think they'll pass that up, but they also need a wide receiver. So this is the biggest, like I guess, a proposition there for... The Raiders is, okay, we have Isaiah Simmons. We also have Jerry Judy on the board. We also need a cornerback, as in C.J. Henderson. Let's go with the best available player. Isaiah Simmons is going to go to the Raiders. Now let's go on to the 49ers. Team that needs a quarterback, a team that needs a wide receiver. So this is, might be the option Jerry Judy might end up taking there. But I feel like C.J. Henderson is the guy for the 49ers. Now, moving on to the Buccaneers. Buccaneers are interesting because they need uh, a little bit of everything. Maybe it's at offensive line. Maybe it's at defensive line. Maybe it's at corner. Maybe it's a running back. It's 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 weird. If you want to go to the next offensive tackle, is Josh Jones of Houston. That may not be the best option right there because you can get at least a lot of more players at a better value, like a Javon Kinlaw as a defensive lineman. But I, I wouldn't say they need a quarterback right here, but they kind of do. So Tua Tonga Vailoa is going to the Buccaneers. And that's also another good candidate for Tom Brady. He's maybe a Buccaneer, so you would want Tua behind him to groom him. Maybe that happens. Maybe that does happen. Now the Broncos. It's, it's, it's easy. They need a wide receiver. Jerry Judy's there. They're getting Jerry Judy. They, they've gone offense, I believe, the past two drafts. Pretty sure. No, they went defense two years ago, and they went all offense last year. So that's that's good for them to get their finally a wide receiver there for maybe Drew Locke. Maybe it's uh, maybe it's a Tom Brady. Nobody knows where Tom Brady's going. It's weird to think that Tom Brady's predicting where players are going to be taken in the draft, which is kind of crazy to think. Now this one's easy. The Falcons need a pass rusher, so AJ Epineza. I do like him a lot, but there's also the top ranked right here is a Kavlon Chayson. From LSU, I know I pronounced that last name wrong, but I like Epineza a lot more. Even though he didn't have a great pro, he didn't have a great scout combine, so I do like Epineza a lot more. Oh, the Cowboys, cornerback Kristen Fulton. It's easy. They need a corner. They need a safety. They need one of. They need one of the two. I think uh, Fulton is their guy to go. Now the Miami Dolphins. Yes, you you missed out on the sweepstakes of Tua Tonga Valoa, but I believe the second, the third best quarterback in this draft is Jordan Love. Wherever uh, Tua went to the Buccaneers, they probably sh Buccaneers probably should have spent that money out on Jordan Love. Jordan Love, you are going to the Dolphins. Now for the Oakland Raiders. They, they've got that linebacker set. You can also make him as a, anything you want. But now it's just the, the find that you need to find that corner or you also need to find that wide receiver. Justin Jefferson's the LSU at 31. They can easily get him in the second round. Or they can get a guy named LaVisca Shonot Jr., which they could easily stretch for that. Maybe that's not the best option there to work things out, but eh, they, they need to shore up that defensive line, get a guy like Javon Kinlaw of South Carolina. Javon is perfect, perfect, perfect spot. Maybe with Maurice Hurst there still, you got a guy... It's just odd to think. It's odd to think that the Raiders need these defensive linemen because we I've seen them. I'm a, I'm a Raiders fan. You already know this. we have already seen all the ups and downs right now with that defense, and defense is the big key. They can find a wide receiver in the offseason, but I, let's go Javon Kinlaw. 
Going to the Jaguars, their second pick here in the first round, and it's clear cut and day that they need a safety. They do need a safety. It's one of their things, and I feel like Xavier McKinney of Alabama is their go to. Now, the Eagles. The Eagles are interested. <laughs> it's weird. Eagles have that thing that, okay, let's go with the best available player. They do need a running back. DeAndre Swift is on the board. DeAndre Swift might be the first running back taken in the draft. And it's, it will be to the Eagles. And that's in my opinion. Now, you would think that the Vikings will need a wide receiver since they just traded away Stephon Diggs. So why don't you give them a guy, a big target, as in Shelnott Jr.? Shelnott Jr. is going to be easily replace the guy like Stephon Diggs. So Shelnott Jr., now this, is a, this jumped up real quick. A quarterback need for the Patriots. Maybe it was that... That time that Tua was hurt, maybe they could have slid down and grabbed him there, but you, you got to work on it. a little bit of everything. And uh, Chasen is your go-to there. Now the Saints. Saints are looking for an inside linebacker. And not an inside linebacker, but yes, they are. Defensive line, a linebacker, corner, and an inside offensive lineman, and a wide receiver. Let's, let's see what we got here. See what we have. I do like Zach Bond, but Zach Bond does not. It, he fits the need for the the Saints, but I don't think it's actually going to work out that way. Let's see here. Keith Murray, Kenneth Murray, or a Patrick Queen, or maybe even a a corner as in Jeff Galladay, Gladney. Excuse me, not Galladay. Kenny Galladay is who I was thinking of. That's why I said Glad Gladney. So let's go with TCU's Jeff Gladney. Minnesota Vikings once again. Let's get it. Let's get a. Let's have them get a Grant Delpit. I mean, it's a, one of the best available players on there, and the fact that you know that the Dolphins are going to need a safety here. Why don't you just take it ahead of there? Maybe they, they can trade back. Maybe because that safety is one of the things that they actually need. Now let's go in uh, offensive lineman here. They can. They don't need to stretch for it. They have too many draft picks. I believe they have 12 or 14 draft picks. But let's just set them off with an edge with uh, your tier gro gross Matos of Penn State. You're going to the Dolphins. Now the Seattle Seahawks. Seattle, you know, they're tested for, you know, the virus. So this person's going to take away the virus and Zach Bond. I love Zach Bond a lot. I This is a guy that is... I, I wouldn't say he's underrated but because he's still projected to go in the first round, but late in the first round. I, I have a feeling the Chiefs are trying to eye him the most, but I have a feeling that the Seattle Seahawks will take the guy. and It's their, it's their guy, Zach Vaughn, is their, is their go-to. Linebacker for the Baltimore Ravens, Kenneth Murray. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Now, they need an edge. The Tennessee Titans do. They also need linemen. They also need a tight end. They also need a linebacker, running back. Right, what they need, I wouldn't say they need a running back. They have Derrick Henry. You can easily put anybody behind Derrick Henry and call it good. Kind of like a bread and butter type of connection. They can easily make it. Henry the bread and the butter is the sweetness. It comes around that maybe it's a pass catcher behind them. Yeah, yeah you get the gist. So I feel like an offensive lineman or an offensive tackle, say as in Josh Jones, could easily help and improve that offensive line that's not lackluster, but there's not many people there since they haven't really signed many offensive linemen back since there was 32 players that were free agents this year. One of them was that uh, was was pretty much most of the line. So Josh Jones there, wide receiver, tight end, and corner linebacker, wide receiver, and defensive lineman for the Giants. No, excuse me, not Giants, Green Bay Packers. Sorry about that, Giants fans and Packers fans. So a guy such as Justin Jefferson might be a good option here if they do not get any wide receivers off of in free agency. So and he's their next closest wide receiver there for them. So Justin Jefferson to Green Bay. Now with the cornerback situation already taken care of, they do have two first-round draft picks. It's crazy to think they have two first-round draft picks, and this was a team that was in the Super Bowl last year. And now you just got to tend to need. You got to tend to need that maybe it's a running back. They have a three headed monster there already, but will one of those players want to go away to be a star somewhere else to get most of the touches? That's a question that's up in the air. But and, and def a defensive lineman is actually one of the things that they want to go for. And Ross Blacklock 
is the key because they just they just traded their best defensive lineman to the Colts. So why not replace that already with them? So Ross Blacklock or ne Neville Gilmore might be the person. So I got Blacklock though. Now to, to tally things off, wrap this thing up, put a bow on it to end this first round draft is with the Kansas City Chiefs. And I have I talk in Kansas City Chiefs market. I work at 610 Sports Radio. And this is a big question mark that's in the air. What are they going to do? Is it that corner, the, the inside offensive lineman, a running back, a linebacker, an edge? They need a little bit of everything. And I feel like they need to address what's being given to them as in a cornerback. And they, they're probably going to stretch on this. But I do not know how to pronounce his name. But he's from Auburn. The Noah guy right here. I just have it highlighted. Yeah, I'm going to try to pronounce it. Ingranabi. It might be that how it's pronounced. But I feel like that's the go-to for the Chiefs right now to draft that. And finalizing the draft, your draft is done. This is what we have accumulated here. This is, I would say this is going to be my first of, I'm going to probably do five of these, maybe ten of these. It depends on how I'm feeling. This is what we're going to have in the draft. Joe Burrow, Chase Young, Jeff Okuda, Jedrick Willis, Tristan Wirfs, Justin Herbert, Henry Ruggs III, C.D. Lamb, Derek Brown, Mika Becton, Andrew Thomas, Isaiah Simmons, C.J. Henderson, Tua Tagovailoa, Jerry Judy, A.J. Epineza. You get the rest. I'm just going to keep scrolling through it right now. But this was, let's save an exit on this one. This was the first of many mock drafts here on the Kramer Santo Network. Hope you've enjoyed. Please smash that like button. Let me know what you thought of what your team probably got, probably didn't got. Just let me know. This is fun. I enjoy mock drafts. Mock drafts are fun. Also, take a look at my other mock drafts I posted down in the description down below. Just take care. Have fun. Wash your hands. Be safe. This has been Kramer Sansone.